How does it feel to to be back? And uh, you know, it's it's only been a year, but like you said, it kind of feels like it's a little bit longer. Yeah, it does. It, it's kind of crazy because it, it feels a little bit of both. You know, it feels like I'm. You know, it feels almost as if I came back after last season. Or, but you know, I haven't seen you guys in a while. Everyone looks a little different, so it's funny. You know, it's I I've, I've been back here so much, even in the off seasons, that I see a lot of these people, but. You know, even some of the kids I've given lessons to and stuff, they're getting bigger, older, and, you know, it's kind of crazy. It makes you realize how time flies, but it's always fun coming back. Well, what, what did it mean for you when, when PD asked you to kind of be a part of this camp and, and help out and come back, given, you know, just how much time you spent in this community and, and how much this community has meant to you? Yeah, it was, it was almost one of those situations where I told him, like, you don't even have to ask. Of course, I'll come. Um, you know, I wasn't going to tell him he didn't have to pay me, but... Uh, no, I'm just kidding, but uh, I would have done it for free, honestly. It's something that I have a passion for and in this community, too, and getting to help out, you know, one of my buddies, former teammates, former team, and, uh, you know, that's always something. I'm going to want to stay involved in the game, and especially in this community. It will always mean a lot to me, so it's always, like I said, it's enjoyable getting to work with these kids, and especially some that I've given individual lessons to. Obviously, day one of the week for you guys. Just uh, what was it like seeing the, the kids out there, 30-plus kids, and, and, you know, the first one of these in a, a few years for, for a Comet hockey team? Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome seeing them in the Comet jerseys and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, a good turnout. We are you know, pleasantly pleased, and uh, they're actually very attentive. They worked hard and, you know, listened for the most part. So uh, I'd say we had a good day one. So it was really awesome, uh, you know, seeing the work ethic out there and obviously seeing the passion they have for the Comets. I know Pete touched on a little bit, but what do you hope to see, you know, from these kids over the next week? What do you, you know, what are you hoping to take away from this the most over the next few days? I just want to see them enjoy the work. You know, it's, it's kind of sounds weird to say enjoy the work, but it's, uh, you know, they are working on getting better. But, uh, you know, we want them to want to listen. We want them to want to pick up the tips that we're trying to give them and want to, you know, see them try and apply it, which I feel like a lot of them have. And obviously it's a longer day and two ice sessions, a couple off ice sessions. So, you know, by the end of the day, running out of energy and some, you know, obviously don't want to pay too much attention, but for the most part they have, and, you know, they've been doing the drills really well and you can see the improvement and they obviously have some good guys on the ice uh, willing to help them out and Marcus McIver off the ice. So they got a good trainer this week too. So uh, yeah, just hoping they have fun with it. First year for you not in Fort Wayne in a, in a hockey sweater in a long time. Just, uh, you know, talk about the year that was for you and kind of, uh, you know, just the uh, the season you had down in Florida. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, like I said, it was a new experience for me, which, uh, you know, it was kind of, you know, forced upon me at the time, which I, I wasn't sure that I wanted it, but, you know, I kind of came to accept it and obviously was kind of looking forward to it when it was time to go. And uh, obviously when it's sun and Orlando and stuff like that, it's easy to look forward to. It's uh, obviously a good destination spot for a lot of people and having all the attractions around, it was cool, uh, you know, to kind of be down there and experience that. But obviously I was more concerned with the, the results on the ice, which we definitely didn't get. Um, and it was kind of weird, you know, my first year of pro hockey that I missed the playoffs. So it was a tough pill to swallow. And uh, luckily we had a good group of guys, though, and, you know, got to live with a former teammate and Matthew Barnaby, which was a treat in its own right. So, uh, you know, I had a good year, um, really tried to enjoy it. You know, unfortunately, I broke my foot at the end, which kind of took some fun out of the, you know, out of the season, then missing the playoffs, too. But, uh, you know, I still love the game. That's all I really took out of it is I still have a passion for it. And, uh, you know, it's something I'm always going to love and not going to know when to stop even though that's going to have to come sometime. I was going to say, so uh, so you still got plans to play some more hockey here down the line, and kind of what's next for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I've come to find I'm never going to not want to play. You know, it's it's tough to accept when the moment comes that you're going to have to walk away one day. Um, but I think just for me, I, I kind of wanted to leave on my own note, right? A lot of guys do. And uh, for me, I just wanted to enjoy my last year. And uh, it'd be nice to know it was my last year going into it. I don't know if that'll be possible, but... I just want to enjoy the last year and, you know, be on a competitive team and fun for me is making the playoffs and making a run and stuff like that and having a good group of guys and hopefully, you know, not getting injured. And that's a big thing for me is staying healthy. And so long as I can do that and enjoy the year, you know, that's all I'm really looking for. And I know I still have a passion for the game. So if the right thing comes along, I'm, I'm sure I would do it. Uh, I know I'm sure you probably keep close tabs on on things back up here. Thoughts on the, on the case hiring Jesse, a guy that you probably saw quite a bit down there in Florida. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, it could be a great thing. Obviously, uh, they're coming off back-to-back -back championships, which, of course, everyone wants a winning pedigree. So I'm sure he's picked up some things along the way. They, you know, I played against them a lot this year. They had a very competitive team and, you know, one of those tough teams that you knew was a 
playoff built team. So uh, they got it going on there, and you know you got to give him kudos when he can. So I'm, I'm sure he's going to uh, be a good addition for this team. And uh, you know, to be honest, I don't know him personally, so I can't really speak on the end of how he'd be as a coach. But like I said, with the, the couple championships there, he's got to add a you know something significant to the team.